Hello everyone, welcome to Edit Sensational Kitchen. On today's video, I'm going to be making scotch egg. These are the ingredients we are going to be using for this scotch egg. We have mashed meats, we have eggs, breadcrumbs, I have egg wash, then our all-purpose flour, but it's seasoned, and these are spices for this scotch egg. So let's get right into our video. As you can see, our water is already boiling. So what I did is that I added a little bit of salt into the water. So I'm going to be putting the three eggs into the boiling water. But I'm going to be using this sieve in order to lower it gently inside the water without heating the pot so that it does not have any crack on it. So I'm going to cover the pot. We'll come back. We'll leave it to cook for about 10 minutes and we'll come back to take it off. The egg is ready, so I just want to take it out from the hot water. I'm going to be putting it in the cold water. And what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to like crack it a little bit and let it sit in the cold water. So that the water can come inside to be easy for me to peel off the skin. So I'm peeling the egg as you can see it's coming out with ease. Cook egg, as you can see, the cook egg is ready. So I'm going to be adding our spices to our grinded meats. And I'm going to be mixing it together. So our spice is mixed with our grinded meat okay so we're about to start rolling our squash egg first thing first I need to beat the egg because we're going to be using this egg wash so that one is ready so first thing first I'm going to be cutting the meat, flat it on my palm, and I'll take one of the egg like this. I know it's more easier when you are using your bare hands, but just want to use. So we're adding a bit of the meat so I can be able to cover any place I is exposing. So with the tips, I'm going to be putting it in the flour. I'm going to be putting the flour on it. That way the egg wash can stick to it next I'm going to be using our egg 
Onyx. So that the breadcrumb crumbs can also stick to it, shaking out the excess. And I'm going to be using the breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. I'm going to be pressing the breadcrumbs to it. And this one is ready. So I'm going to be doing all that like that. What I'm going to do next again, put the meat. Flatten the meat. Stand the egg like this and try to cover it up. So we are putting the bread, crumbs, the flour, we are rolling it in the flour. Put it in the breadcrumbs. Yeah, I'm going to use my hand to press the breadcrumbs to it. one if you have never done it before you need to do is just to wash it step by step be able to get it right on your own check out the SX put it back in breadcrumbs So just wait for our oil to eat up. Once our oil eat up, then we are ready to fry. That is the last step. So see you then. So the oil is hot. I'm going to be putting in one after the other. So we're going to allow it to, to the, the side that is inside the oil to be goody brown. Then I'll flip it to the other side. Our sponge egg is almost ready. That's the last one. 
through. The first one to start sliding. Waiting for the last one, as you can see, it's really brown. So you can make your scotch egg on your own at home, especially if you decide that I love scotch egg. Like my family will love it, so I decided to make it today and to also share the recipe with you. The last one is ready. So that is it on today's video. See how beautiful the old place is having a lovely aroma. So that's it on today's video. If you have never watched my video before, if this is your first time of watching my videos, please subscribe to my channel and if you have already subscribed to my channel before thank you very much watch this video to the end and continue to give my videos a thumbs up see you on the next video bye